few years ago, uh, we were going through one of the remote villages of the Pakistan. It was one of those villages which uh, Mr. Lal Chand mentioned. It was ruler Sindh village. And we came across a patient, a patient who was suffering through a chronic illness. The pain and suffering we saw in the eyes of the patient were far more than physical pain going through. The feeling of hopelessness and thinking that nobody is going to help him was really heartbreaking for us. So we, we work in healthcare and I think you guys have must heard a term, it's called telehealth. So telehealth is basically a term, uh, a technology using which you can conduct an online consultation session with any doctor anywhere in the world. So using telehealth, our team conducted an online consultation session of that patient with one of the finest doctors in the country. The session went successful and patient ended up receiving a little bit glimmer of hope. This is one of many stories we encountered during our last 10 year journey of trying to solve healthcare problems. Because for us, it's not just a business. We believe that technology is all about making an impact. Yes, you should also use technology to make profits, but again, it's not just about business. For me, the story I just narrated, the most touching part of that story was a, te a team of software engineers who built that telehealth application which made the online consultation session possible, they went into tears. They had the goosebumps. By seeing the piece of code they have written has potential to save lives. Let me repeat this particular. <clears throat> so let me repeat this particular sentence again because it's very important. The piece of code they have written has potential to change lives. This simple statement itself defines how powerful technology is. And if utilized in the benefit of humanity, it can do wonders. And all of us, <laughs> and all of us here, I think this university is setting up a great foundation for technology. They are training students on latest technology trends so while you go out there, my friends, my advice to you is please keep in mind whatever you do, it's not just about business. The work you put, it should bring some impact in the lives of people around you or the societies and communities you are living in. So this goosebump story, uh, my little journey of uh, in this field, I basically, I took three takeaways from that which made this story possible. The first is leadership, the second is people, and the third is technology. I will touch uh, base on all of them one by one. Uh, so basically leadership, as you guys know, leadership is something which defines how an organization, how a company will, will operate, whether a company will operate on the, on the preference of financial gains or that company will operate on the preference of adding some value to society as well. When we were building our flagship product, we had two choices. Either do it for the part of the world that is already advanced in healthcare and that has a lot of investments, or we do it for the part of the world that is neglected and deprived. We went with second option because again, we believe it's not just about business. And that's where a leadership comes into play. As a leader, if you have courage to swim against the tides, you can transform lives, communities, societies. Being a leader is tough and often taking an unpopular path. You, you will often walk on the path which is never walked before because that's what leadership is. But leadership is all about doing the right thing. All of you here, I, I can, I'm 100% sure that five years or 10 years from now on, you will be leading an organization 
please keep this particular thing in mind that you will be the defining and driving force of your company. And please remember, organizations, companies, they are not just about business. Please make sure whatever you do, how the organization you drive, there should be a human factor in it. There should be something for society in it. Coming to the second part of this story, people. For us, uh, we call our organization, it's a love story be between our client and our people. Our client loves our people, and similarly, we also love our clients. So building a strong team, it takes a lot of efforts. So while we were out there, as a leader, we were looking for superheroes. Heroes who are impacted by same sort of challenges as the one we are trying to solve. So we ended up playing our bets and providing opportunities to people of modest background. Remote part of the country. And we have created a diverse workforce which is truly diverse in terms of gender, ideas, education and background. So what ma'am was saying, I can relate to that, that the revolution which this country is starting to do, women in technology, that's what we did. Women in technology is one of the key things we are working on. to say that our team has super moms, we call them super moms, because they, along with taking care of their family, they are building cutting-edge technology products. So round of applause to all those <clears throat> females who are breaking the barriers and who are doing something which, again, which we talked before, they are walking a path which has never been walked before in this country. And I'm sure with joining hands like uh, institutions like ComSat, companies like we, and uh, people who are working in this domain, we will play our small role in revolution, revolutionizing the women in technology in this country. One another thing I would like to highlight in terms of people is it needs a mix of youth and experience. This is where we are working with universities and we are bridging the gap between academia and industry. We are emphasizing on not only building the technical skill set, of course technical skill set is very important, but we are also emphasizing is uh, universities and academia should work on building the skill set of future as well. We call communication skills, soft skills, and empathy as skill set of the future. We are playing our role in ensuring that our next generation comes equipped with these skill sets. And finally to the last part, I call it by the way the love triangle with no betrayal factor. I'm sure you will hear from uh, Najmi, Najmi Saab about betrayal, but this triangle does not have a betrayal factor in it. So the last part is technology. The leadership and people are very important but leadership and people will always define how a technology can be leveraged. It will be people and leader who will decide if technology will be used for entirely business purposes or technology will be used for igniting a spark in the unluckiest places of the world. Let there be no misunderstanding that technology is solution to some of the gravest problems of the world and some of the ones, some of those which our country is facing, but let's make sure we build a good team and we have a great leadership in place to actually leverage technology for the benefit of humanity. <clears throat> as I see the future generations of leaders here, as I see the people, the students who will go and run organization in near future, my dear friends, my two cent to you is, please add a soul to what you do. Often in life, you will be at crossroads where you will have multiple options and opportunities. Do not always pick the easy one. Find the one that pays you well, but at the same time, that should help you sleep better at night by thinking that you are making an impact in your society.
while you will be out there, pick a problem to solve. Believe in your leadership to make it happen. Build a team of like-minded people and channelize technology for that purpose. This is four-step process to success in terms of money as well, but in terms of making an impact to society as well. On final notes, I would like to say that when you will walk out of these doors, life will give you many options. And you will have to make many decisions. And all the decisions you make in life are based on two factors, love or fear. All the decisions, if you look back, the decisions you have made so far, or the decisions you will make in near future, your next life, they will be based on either love for something or fear of something. So my advice to you is, please go out there and give love a chance. And do not let fear get the best of you. Because if you will make decisions based on what you do and based on the love of what you do, I'm sure you will feel fulfilled from all perspectives of your life. And on parting note, let me leave you with a small thought. What motivates you to get out of bed on a daily basis? Is it a 9 to 5 job? Is it a paycheck? Or is it something bigger than that? Thank you so much.